hello everyone it's your girl claire and i remain your girl claire and today i am out here to encourage and to inspire someone with the word of god and before i say what i have to say i just want to say a big thank you to everyone who is listening to my voice right now and hearing the word of god may the good lord bless you and i pray that your life will continually be a reflection of the glory and the blessings of god and for sure you will never be found in a place of disadvantage and a place where you are denied the grace and the mercies of god may your life continually bring glory to the most high god god bless you and thank you so much for being here so i want to start by saying do you know that our actions and words are a reflection and product of our thoughts do you actually know that your thoughts can either build you up or break you do you know that just as there is power in the spoken word so also lies dynamic power in our thoughts Believe me, you are a product of what you think or meditate on. What you picture in your mind has dynamic power in it. A lot of people ignore or refuse to work on this aspect of their lives because the belief is just thinking. But the truth is that your thoughts become a reality. Today, I will be talking about the power of thoughts. Yes, the power of thoughts. Because to be able to live a positive life and for you to be able to excel and be able to live above the limits and the circumstances of life, one has to be very careful of what you ponder on or your imaginations or thoughts. Have you ever been there where you're walking along the road, for example? And just before you, there's a stone and just right before you get to where the stone is, you were like, I hope I don't stumble or I hope I don't hit my foot against the stone. And just as you get there, it happens and boom, (laughs) you land on the floor. Someone might just be binding and casting every demon behind that. I mean don't just start rebuking the devil or blaming him for what happened don't bother wasting your precious time casting or binding i know for sure that the devil is a loser who is out to steal to kill and to destroy but in this case come on it's all about your thoughts because you thought of it and then the picture came because by thinking you build up a picture of things in your mind and either those things are positive or they are negative don't say my village people have come for me they didn't come for you it started with you thinking negatively and boom it happened the word of god says in the book of psalms 91 verse 7 it says what a thousand shall fall where at your side and 10,000 at your right hand he says but it shall not come where near you so don't have the mentality of giving the blame to the adversary for everything that happens in your life because the word of God in Psalm 91 verse 7 already makes you to understand that God protects you from all evil I am not trying to say that we we we, we don't face you know uh, um things you know that can be as a result of attack from the enemy no attacks will always be there because the bible makes us also to understand that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but what against what principalities and powers but i i will come to that so believe me is not everything that went wrong in our lives that the devil is responsible for someone might ask me what do you mean or what are you talking about haven't haven't you heard about the scripture that says for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers and against rulers of darkness in this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places so through my brother my sister and this verse of the bible in the book of ephesians 6 verse 12 
is very correct and accurate. But I want you to know that even our thoughts can be a stronghold. Our thoughts can be the weapon, um, weapon that the adversary uses to hold us captive. If we don't do what, renew our minds and pick up the mindset of Christ. I want to also quickly go into the book of Philippians um, chapter 2 verse 5. Let's see what it says about having the mindset of Christ. So, Philippians 2 verse 5, it says, Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. It says, let the same mind of Christ be the same mind that you have. Have the mentality of what? Of Christ. Have the mentality of what the word of God says. Have the mentality that it is not just, you know, what is happening around you, you know, at the moment is all about how you are able to deal with it in your mind so it says let the same mind which was in christ let that same mind be in you not in your brother not in your sister not in your mama not in your father it says let that same mind be in you i also want us to quickly go to the book of romans chapter 12 verse 2 let's see what romans 12 verse 2 says okay romans 12 verse 2 says and do not be conformed to this word but be transformed by the renewing of your mind the niv says do not be conformed to the pattern of this word do not be Conform to the system of this world. It says, but be ye transformed. In other words, be changed. By what? By the renewing of your mind. How do you renew the, your, your mind? Through the word of God. By studying the word of God and acting on what it says. By studying the word of God and beginning to walk in the light of the word of God, you renew your mind. It says, then you will be what able to thirst and approve what God's will is. For his will is what good, his will is pleasing, meaning acceptable, and what it is perfect. It is perfect. No wonder Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, I know the thoughts that I have for you. God's thoughts are always good. So that is why your thoughts should always be positive. It says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of good and not of evil. Thoughts to do what? Thoughts of peace. And to give you what? A glorious end and a glorious future thoughts to give you an everlasting hope and an eternal future that is the thought of god for us apostle paul wrote something you know apostle paul wrote this in the new testament you know to the church in rome why because he understood and had a clear insight of the power of thoughts that if it is not checked or put under control can be a havoc or cause havoc to the life of a believer so he was actually saying don't let the pattern or the system of this world dominate your mind or rule your mind don't let the system of this world dominate your thoughts or how you think there are people who if a fly or a rat passes by all the picture in their mind is one with horns. And the next thing is, hmm, I play the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. I mean, some people are more conscious of the presence of the devil than that of God. But if you train your mind to see, ponder and imagine or think and meditate on the right things, trust me, you will live above the standards and the system of this world.
because Philippians 2 verse 5 already told us that we should have the same mindset of Christ and Romans 12 2 says what to be conformed uh, not not to be conformed to the pattern of this world but be transformed by what by the renewing of your mind so as long as your thoughts are dominated by fear every false evidence will appear real to you and this is one of the reasons you should bring your thoughts to subjection to the word of god at all times meditate and think on what god has said not what the devil is showing you meditate and ponder on what god has said concerning you in his unchanging and undiluted word and begin to train your mind to do what to reproduce what it says and not what the devil presents to you there are people who even before they start anything whether it's a business, is a job, a relationship, studies, a project, whatever. The first thing that comes to their mind is, will it work? Am I sure it will be successful? That shouldn't be your mindset. Have the mindset that all things work together for my good and not against me. Have the mindset that no matter what is going on around me, I am not a failure. Have the mindset of whatsoever I lay my hands upon to do according to the word of God shall prosper, must prosper. Have the mindset that you are not a loser, but you are a winner in Christ Jesus. Have the mindset that you are not the defeated, but a victor in Christ Jesus. Have the mindset that you are blessed beyond description and that nothing in this world has power over you because you are are a child of the living one you are the child of the almighty god walk in this consciousness proverbs 23 verse 7 says something it says as a man thinketh what in his heart so is he meaning you have what you think or you become what you think or meditate on so this is letting us know how powerful our thoughts can be so i encourage you today to meditate on the right things meditate on things that are positive and you will have positive results meditate on things that are glorious and you will have glorious things all around you meditate on things that are good and goodness will show all around you before I end this message, I just want to, to say to someone listening to me right now, have the mindset of Christ. Have the mentality of Christ. Refuse the grasshopper mentality. Some spies were sent out to spy on the land of Canaan. In the book of Numbers 13 from verse 1 down to 33, the Lord gave Moses in verse 1 an instruction to send out spies to the land of Canaan to spy out the land because God actually wanted to give them possession of that land. And um, among the spies, among the men that were sent out was Caleb and Joshua. And then these men, they went to spy out on the land and they came back with words for the people, for, the, for Moses and for the entire congregation. And, you know, the words that came those men brought was enough to put the people in a state of panic so you know somehow when the people heard okay that the land if you read verse 26 he says um they brought back word to them and to all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land let's go down to 27 it says and they told him and said we went to the land where you sent us it truly flows with milk and honey and this is its fruit they brought back some fruits but 28 says nevertheless there was a but the people who dwell in the land are strong and the cities are fortified and very large moreover we saw the descendants of anak you know so 
I would like us to quickly go down to 30 because immediately the people heard that they became afraid and to calm them down now we'll see someone with a positive mentality a positive mindset he went ahead to quiet the people and that was Caleb he said to them let us go up at once if you read verse 30 it says let us go up at once and do what take possession for we are well able to do what to overcome it he was not ready to talk too much he just wanted them to go into action why because he had a positive mindset he knew that if god was involved as long as god is involved it is possible he had a possibility mentality there are people who have an impossibility mentality anything around them is impossible everything around them nothing in their life is is possible they don't believe in that anything is possible so they um caleb had a possibility mentality and was like as long as god is with us people come let us go possess this land we are capable not just able we are well able to take charge of this land and then the ones with the negative mentality what did they do with a negative mindset immediately because they had a spirit of discouraging the people from going to take possession of what god has for them said we are not able to go up against the people for they are stronger than we are. In their mind, it was like it's not possible at all for us to take possession of the land because of who? The giants, because of the children of Anak. So let's go down to 33. And they went ahead. Not just did they say, we are not able to go up against the people for they are stronger than we are. They now went ahead to say, there we saw the giants and the descendants of Anak. And we were what like grasshoppers in our own sight, and also we are in their sight. Our words are what a reflection of our thoughts. What we say oftentimes are a product of what we think, a product of our meditation, a product of our thoughts or what we ponder on. So they saw themselves as grasshoppers they had the grasshopper mentalities in their minds they were grasshoppers while those the opposition or the people of of um canaan were as in the children of anak were giants so they saw the their size they saw how how huge they were they saw how tall they were and because of that they started seeing themselves as what as little they saw themselves as what grasshoppers that's because they look like grasshoppers before those giants it's not possible for them to you know take possession of the land that god has promised to give to them it happens in our lives today oftentimes we look at the challenges before us we look at what is happening around us we look at the situation of things we look at the crisis we look at uh, uh, the, the the circumstances of life we look at the magnitude of the problem we are facing we look at whatever it is that is before us and what happens we begin to doubt if it's possible for us to you know pull through if it is possible for us to excel if it is possible for us to be triumphant if it is possible for us to overcome if it is possible for us to come out of it you know better and stronger if it is possible for us to you know um, um, be successful in that particular area believe me that was the mentality that Caleb had. Caleb had a mentality that all things are possible if only one believes. So it's about having the mentality and the mindset of Christ that all things are possible if only you believe. So irrespective of what is happening around you or the magnitude or how huge it is, think the right thoughts. If you ponder on good things, good things you will have. If you ponder on glorious things, glorious things you you have. If you ponder on things that are pure, meditate on, on things that are pure, things that are good, things that are positive. Positivity will surround you. Positivity will be reflected in every aspect of your life. So have that mindset of Christ and know that with God, 
all things are possible. Be careful the kind of people, your association, the kind of people you relate with. Because if you are not careful, the people you keep around you will either build you or break you. If they are people with the wrong mindset, if they are people with a negative mindset or a negative mentality, if, if, if you are not careful, it will begin to rub off on you. And before you know it, you start thinking like them, you start talking like them, you start um, doing things like them, you start, you know, reasoning like them. So it's very important that you are careful of your association. I pray in the name of Jesus from today henceforth that your life will be a reflection of the glory of God. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will pull through in every area of your life irrespective of the magnitude of the circumstances, no matter the spiritual giants before you, no matter how big the, the, the problem is, how uh, the magnitude of, of the situation or what is going on in your life, the problem. In the name of Jesus that you will pull through, that you will walk through the dark places and you will come out stronger because you will shine as light in the dark places. I pray in the name of Jesus that your life will continually be upward and never downwards. You will never be found in a place where you are denied the grace of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, your life will, will bring glory to God. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not be moved by what is before you or those things that are happening around you, but you will only be moved by what God says concerning that situation. So keep holding on and keep faith. I love you. God bless you. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.